Hello Zebraherd, welcome to Super Mario Bros, a Nintendo Entertainment System platforming classic. This is the game that, in some way, started it all for Mario. It released 35 years ago in North America today, back in September of 1985, and it's just one of the most popular games of all time. No big deal, right? So, obviously there were Mario games before this one, but this one was the one that sort of gave Mario his image of being a platforming game mascot, and sort of defined that genre for video games in general. So this is a pretty big deal of a game, and I'm super excited to get into it. So with that being said, let's get started with Super Mario Bros. So here we are on the main menu of the game. It starts real simple. These, This was back when games weren't really explained the story in the game itself. You had to read the manual. And it's as simple as it gets. Bowser has stolen the princess and it's up to Mario to save her. And this game is pretty simple in so many different premises. It's just really about getting to the right and getting to the end. You get some mushrooms, you defeat some enemies, and you defeat Bowser every once in a while, right? There's not too much of a major story. There's not even any major collectibles besides what you need to get to the end of the level. But I will be focusing a lot on coins, and speaking of that, I could go down this pipe and get a lot of coins, but it sort of cuts the level very short, and I don't want to do that. So instead, we'll go this way and get ourselves a Fire Flower. First Fire Flower in Mario history, right? <laughs> I don't know, was there one in the original Mario Bros. Uh, arcade game? But yeah, there was a Mario Bros. arcade game, but that was a little bit different just because, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't go left after you've gone too far right, so you gotta be a bit strategic with that. Oh, there's our superstar. There's a lot going on at once, but this was the first Mario platforming adventure game, and I think it's the one a lot of people think of when they think of Mario, so I thought it was, you know, a good idea to check this one out first. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit all of this. Yeah, this game is 35 years old as of today. It has been quite a long journey for Mario, but it keeps getting better with each new game. It just seems like each game has been a little bit better than the last, right? So that's quite the streak to uphold for him, but he seems to be pretty good at it. Anyways, there's our first level done. We'll be tackling one world per episode in today's, or in this series, so. <laughs> Hopefully it all goes well. Some episodes might be quite short because of that, but this game can be gruelingly difficult, and there's a lot of history to talk about with the whole thing, so I'll be doing my best. I'm not the best at this game, I'll warn you right now. But here is World 1-2, and this level is pretty infinite, infamous for its um, secrets. It's also our first underground level. We do have another Fire Flower here, which doesn't really get me anything if I collect it, seeing how I'm already Fire Mario, but I might as well get the extra points, right? This was back when people played games to get the high score, not just to, to beat them. But we definitely do want to take our time to get as many coins as possible. You only start with three lives, and you can lose those pretty quick. So this is where one of the most popular Mario secrets come from. You can actually, you know, do all this and then jump up here and you can skip a huge chunk of the level. I'm not gonna do that because once again, I'll miss out on coins and stuff, but it is something you can do if you want a shortcut and it also leads to something even more important that we'll showcase soon. But right now, I'm breaking as many blocks as possible because I'm pretty sure one of these has some extra coins in it. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh. Up here, maybe? I, I had thought that there was one with coins in it, but maybe not. Oh, okay, we got a fire flower out of that. Can't quite reach it from this angle. Oh, here we go, I found it. But yeah, this game has been really jam-packed with secrets, and that's sort of one of the coolest things about it, is that this game is really good for replaying, because there's just so many different things to sort of go back and find, and different ways to complete the game. And we'll get into that in just a moment. Oh boy. We got the piranha plants in here now. It, it's funny how many of the classic Mario enemies are like still around from, oh gosh, there we go, from the very first platforming adventure. It's just crazy to me. There we go, let's get rid of this one Koopa if we can. Nice. And there's a fire flower again. They're really showering us with a lot of power-ups, which is nice. I wish I could hold them in reserve. The newer games are so much easier at that. So once again, I could hop up there, and I do want to explain that if you do hop up there, there's actually a secret warp room, which allows you to go to world two, three, or four. You can just, just skip a bunch of levels. That could be really useful if it wasn't for the fact that, of course, I'm trying to showcase as much of the game as possible. So we'll be playing through all of the levels, so I won't quite be able to check out that shortcut, but it's there if you need it. If you just want to jump from level one to level four, or world one to world for, you can do that there. Either way, there we go. We got World 1-2 done. And I think that there's eight levels per world. I can't quite remember. I guess we'll find out. Oh, this one could be tough. Any of the ones with a lot of jumping, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about. 
Oh boy, oh boy, got it. And of course, I know that there are more refined versions of the original Super Mario Bros, like there's Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo, but I felt like that for this occasion, it was important to play the original just because this is the specific version that was not only, oh no, the most popular, but also uh, the one that actually came out 35 years ago. Oh boy, ah! <laughs> okay, that one coin is gonna be a little lonely. I'm so sorry. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, the Koopa shells don't pick up coins in this one. So many things you take for granted in the newer Mario games, isn't there? There we go. And I tried to jump, I didn't do a very good job. I don't think you get a one-up for the top of the flagpole in this game, maybe you do. Once again, I just don't know. It's been so long since I've last played this game. It's been a good like 10 years, I think. I don't know if I've ever truly beaten it, just normally playing through the levels like we are here. So, oh no! <laughs> There we go, there's my first death. But I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later, right? So we're down to two lives already, and that's where things can get really scary. And where I'll be trying my best to, to let that not happen. Oh, oh, that was close. But to be honest with you, there might be a lot of trial and error, even in this very short series, because that's how games were back then. As a lot of the games weren't very long in terms of the amount of content, but they were long in terms of how long it took you to beat it because of how difficult they'd be. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on now. And who do we got over here? Is it Bowser? It is. He looks a lot different than he used to. Or is it? I guess we'll have to find out. Because usually it shows like it's a Goomba or something. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. So it seems like we defeated Bowser, but not for real because we didn't get to save Princess Peach. So that was world one done already. <laughs> I guess there's only four levels per world. Yeah, there are gonna be some quick episodes in this series, but I think that's A-OK, -okay. so stay tuned for episode two where we'll tackle world two. I'll be uploading this series pretty quickly. And stay tuned, because I'll be playing other Mario-related things to celebrate the 35th anniversary, such as more Paper Mario, the Origami King, and the new Super Mario 3D All-Stars. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.